What is the best response when a cop says, do you know why I pulled you over? Got pulled over once for no apparent reason. Officer says he clocked me doing 70 in a 55. I had cruise control on at 59 and both my car and Google Maps told me I was under 60. I gave him such an. Are you fucking stupid? Look, I'm not sure how it would have escalated. But at that exact moment my phone started screeching at me about an amber alert with a vehicle description similar to what I was driving. Things got cleared up pretty fast after that. I think so. Officer. But where are we going to get hot pants and a chicken at this hour? Hold on. This whole operation was your idea. At least in Germany you should always say no because otherwise whatever you did was intentionally. If you do it intentionally the situation gets worse for you. Say you don't speak English. She was already dead when I found her. Before he can finish his sentence. This should clear up our little misunderstanding. As I hand them my get out of jail free card from my wallet. Objection. Calls for speculation. Depends how long you were following me. Well. If you don't know, sir, I'm afraid we're both wasting our time. Edit. Grammar. I do. And then just drive off. I once got pulled over for speeding behind a cop. I told him that I noticed I was behind a police officer and assumed we were traveling at a safe speed. He said, it's on me this time. And I didn't get a ticket. I'm not sure what should be said specifically, but a good rule of thumb is that the seriousness of your response should be directly proportional to the amount of drugs in your vehicle. There you are. I've been waiting for you to pull me over all day. YouTube taught me to shout. A am I being detained? And to inform the officer that I'm not driving. I'm traveling. So this story is about my mom when she was pregnant with me. At 8 months pregnant, my mom has been suffering almost constant migraines that make her so nauseous. She gets permission to leave work early one day because she's been throwing up. My poor sick mother said. Fuck the speed limit. And took off home. A Maryland state trooper pulls my mother over for going 55 in a 35. He comes up to her window and she rolls it down and says officer I know I'm speeding I live just down there. I'm going to throw up. Please let me puke at my house. The officer starts getting super upset at my mom. And asks for her license and registration. My mom opens her door and pukes on his shoes. She gets a ticket. And has to go to court. In court. The officer also wants my mom to replace his shoes. The judge goes. You saw a woman that pregnant who said she was nauseous. And still insisted on stopping her? You're such an ass. And dismisses the ticket. I'm 25 now and it's my mom's favorite story about her pregnancy with me. Drew Carey said it best. When it rains really hard. I like to run stop signs just to make cops get out of their cars. Make them stand there in the rain in a big puddle. Alright you. Know why I stopped you? Yeah, know why I ran the sign? I have a boyfriend. Because it'd be really difficult having this conversation while driving. What seems to be the officer? Problem? If they're on a bicycle. And you're in a car, because I let you? Here it goes. I sped. I followed too closely. I ran a stop sign. I almost hit a Chevy. I sped some more. I failed to yield at a crosswalk. I sped some more. I changed lanes in the intersection. I changed lanes without signaling while running a red light. And speeding. Because the Lord guided you to me so I may save your soul. Have you heard of the Book of Mormon? Every rookie that I've had to FTO for the last decade has been told. In no uncertain terms. That that question is the truest sign of a lazy cop. When you pull someone over for speeding. You tell them why you pulled them over. Maybe ask why they're speeding. Issue the warning ticket. And get back in the road. If you want to wrangle a confession out of someone. Go for detective. We ain't a big enough department to have you on the side of the road for 20 minutes trying to get the geriatric retiree to admit to not signaling a turn 4 miles back. Besides, the old coot has had that blinker on since the 90s. Edit. FTO equals field training officer. On the job trainer. A kiss? Edit. Wow my first goal. Interesting how a simple kiss always seems to end up in me losing my virginity. Do you know why I pulled you over? To sell me a ticket to the policeman's ball? We don't have balls. I know. You wanted to know how I got a Prius up to the speed limit? I drive a Prius. It's about as powerful as a fart in a hurricane. No. Sir. That is the correct response. Even if you're doing 90 in a 15 with a kilo of coke strapped to the roof. No. Sir. They're fishing. And the question is either absurd or condescending. Depending on how you look at it. Fred. You're blowing my cover. 
Ah, you saw my ponytail and figured I was a lady. Naughty. Because you're looking for more people for your board game night and you thought I looked like a likely candidate? I have pandemic and mysterium in my trunk right now. Where is the event being held? Should I bring snacks or sodas or do you think someone else will take care of that? Oh yeah. Where is it being held? Where are you going? Come back. I'm so lonely. Me. I was trying to keep up with the traffic. Cop. There is no traffic. Me. Exactly that's how far behind I am. Edit. Thank you kind strangers for the upvotes. Gotta make quota? This is a true story and I don't get to tell it enough so I feel like Reddit must hear it. When I was in college I lived about one and a half hours from my grandparents' house, so I would try to see them as often as I could. Well I have your stereotypical Italian grandparents that you are always gaining weight, but are also too skinny and must be fed every time you see them. I love it lol. Well this one time whatever I ate wasn't sitting well with me and I was gassy as all hell to the point that I had to leave, just so I could have a constant air flow around me in the car. For whatever reason the smell was just lingering and wouldn't go away even with all four windows down. No I didn't shit myself. But I was very concerned about it at the time. Obviously I had bigger problems on my hands and I wasn't paying attention to the speed and by the time I heard the sirens and checked my odometer I saw I was caught doing 95 in a 65. I was caught dead to rights nothing I could do about it. Bye bye license, or so I thought. So as the cop walked up to my car and said. Do you know why I pulled you over? I said as fast as I possibly could. Because I was doing 95 in a 65 and I am sorry officer I really am but my belly hurts I ate some bad food and I've really got a poop and right at this moment I forced out the most perfect fart for the occasion, it sounded as bad as it smelt. It was so well done that there was a 3 second silence where you can tell the cop was just processing what had just happened. He then makes the best what I can only describe in. That was a raunchy fart. Face and he. Holy shit man. Rest stop 2 miles up the road. Get the hell out of here. To which I happily peeled off and thankfully had a windy ticket free ride home. Edit. Speedometer not odometer. Sorry. I was laughing as I was typing. Update. My first awards. Thanks guys. You really know how to make me enjoy my not so shitty situation even more. Cuz you can smell it. Holds out box of donuts. To asks me out? No. Drives away. You were jealous of my new ride. I know I was speeding but to be fair my ex-wife married a cop and I thought you were trying to bring her back. Just like you sir. I don't know. Wow thank you for the silver award. That made my day. Because it would have been weird for a fireman or accountant to do it. My dad's friend drove a truck under a bridge that was too low for it and so it got stuck underneath. When the cop came up alongside the window my dad's friend said, Sue, where do you want this bridge delivered? Oh. I have the perfect joke for this, there was a middle-aged guy who bought a brand new Mercedes convertible SLK, he took off down the road, flooring it up to 80 miles per hour and enjoying the wind blowing through what little hair he had left on his head, this is great, he thought and floored it some more, he looked in his rearview mirror and there was a Florida Highway Patrol trooper behind him, blue lights flashing and siren blasting, I can get away from him with no problem. Thought the man as he floored it some more and flew down the road at over 100 miles per hour. Then he thought, what am I doing? I'm too old for this kind of thing. And pulled over to the side of the road and waited for the state trooper to catch up with him. The trooper pulled in behind the Mercedes and walked up to the man. Sir, he said, looking at his watch. My shift ends in 30 minutes and today is Friday the 13th. If you can give me a reason why you were speeding that I've never heard before, I'll let you go. The man looked back at the trooper and said. Last week my wife ran off with a state trooper. I thought you were bringing her back. The trooper patted the door, tipped his hat, and stepped away from the car. Have a nice day, he said. What seems to be the problem? Edit. Never admit to anything and always operate under the assumption that law enforcement isn't there to protect your innocence. They are there to establish guilt. Edit. Don't be rude, disrespectful, or condescending. Cooperate fully. Be friendly and be considerate of the dangers law enforcement has to encounter on a regular basis but know your rights and that you have the right not to incriminate yourself. You wanted my autograph. On a ticket. I am not as think as you drunk I am. Cuz I'm young and I'm black and my hat's real low. Or do I look like a mind reader? Sir? I don't know. Because I had. Finny. Written all over me. I got pulled over for telling another driver about a speed camera once. The police officer stood there for 10 minutes saying something along the lines of. I know what you did. You know what you did. What did you do? I don't have a clue what you're talking about. 
Why did you signal that other driver? The one with a headlight out? He didn't have a headlight out. He did so I was just telling him. He didn't have a light out. Am I free to leave? Yes. Just don't do it again. Do what again? To ask me out on a date? Works best if you are either extremely hot or comically unattractive. Cause I'm young and I'm black and my hat's real low. I said that to a cop once. I'm old and in white. Cop almost passed out laughing. Then he gave me a ticket anyway. My dad got pulled over and answered that question with. Because I was driving with my head up my ass, the cop just laughed, walked back to his car, and drove off. Related. When a cop pulled me over. A sober person driving drunk friends from party to party. My girlfriend got irate and told the cop that I was a good guy and that he should leave me alone. I also remember her saying something like. Fuck seatbelts. This was back in the day. The officer asked. How much have you had to drink? Young lady? And she replied. Obviously not enough because you are still pissing me off. And I guess it worked because the cop let us go. Does it have something to do with the body in the trunk? Or the weapons in the back seat? Cop calls for backup. Asterisk cops show up. Check to find empty car asterisk. Sir. Officer Carl says you told him there was a body and weapons in the car. Yeah. I bet he told you I was speeding too. 20 years ago I was sleeping in the passenger seat of my friend's truck driving home from an RHCP Foo Fighters concert from Pensacola to the Tampa area in Florida. My friend, Joe, hit the brakes and muttered, fuck, under his breath and pulled over. Apparently we were speeding and he got straight busted by highway patrol. The old pudgy cop waddled over and said, any reason you were going 88 in a 70 zone? My friend, never taking his hands off the wheel, stared straight ahead and said, well, Sir, we were trying to go back to the future. The cop was not amused. 